it looks like a certain Pokemon character has returned after 20 years, after weird losses. In, it says here in the description, Magician, Mad, Magician, Magician and uh, Illusionist Yuri Geller has given Pokemon permission to use the character Cadabra on playing cards, effectively ending a 20 year legal dispute after Geller claimed that the Pokemon's Japanese name and image were too close to his own. Geller sued Nintendo over Cadabra in 2000, seeking, seeking damages and insisting the card stopped being used in sets with the character last appearing on a Pokemon card in 2003. This is actually him at the Yuri Gower tweeting, I am truly sorry for what I did 20 years ago. It's in Grown Ups, I am releasing the band. It's now all up to Nintendo to bring my Kadabra Pokemon card back. It will probably be one of the rarest cards now. Much energy and love to all. And Pokemon fans were happy and rejoice. Neil says, what is 2020? This also means that Kadabra can appear in the anime for the first time in 15 years. And then BLM tweeted, Kadabra is finally three. Free, but anime Oregon is still in prison. Then a Pokemon YouTuber himself, Leonard, tweeted 2003, the last time Kadabra was printed, is finally free today. Then Neil tweets this, Cadaver's free, but this poor soul has been in prison for the past 23 years for a crime it didn't commit. It's time to end this pain and suffering. Hashtag free, free Oregon. Then Rhyme Style tweets this. Oh shit, there it is. After 20 years, the Kadabra slash lawsuit, the Kadabra lawsuit slash ban ends. 20 years. In case you have no idea, Kadabra has disappeared from Pokemon due to a lawsuit. I think the last Kadabra card came out with Sky Ridge in 2003. And this is like one of the most interesting things that I ever found. Now, I have never been a card collector all my life. But I have watched a Pokemon TV series. And never in my life would I have to hear that there was a lawsuit that happened over 20 years ago. Over in the, the name of the Pokemon. I mean, what? Why?
not sure why this is getting fanfare when this shouldn't have been an issue in the first place. Do you get mad at Kadabra because it bent spoons and had a similar looking, looking name? That would be like Ken Pender saying sorry and letting Sega use Scourge or something. You're kind of on the money here. I mean... I think it, I think now it was a silly lawsuit to, to begin with. But you know. It's rare to see other people in his position are usually too proud and stubborn to admit their own. That's why it's being appreciated. The man ra lies professionally about using brain powers to perform a magic trick that any magician will freely tell you how to do. Let's not give him too much kudos for honesty. Are people not allowed to be forgiven? It shouldn't happen. But at least he's sorry about it and took action to make up for what he did. I swear, it's like the word of forgiveness doesn't exist to you guys. And in the number of person replies, when he still calls it his cadaver card, the apology kind of feels half assed. Not to mention, it took him 20 years to apologize for getting angry over Pokemon. Well, that's not that, that's something, you know. Why did it took him twenty years to finally apologize? I just think that it it seems completely weird that a professional magician is apologizing after 20 years. I mean, this is... This is quite insane, you know. It's... I don't think that it should really happen that he should have sued over a Pokemon card or a Pokemon name in general. I mean, seriously. Now? Just how he, he I'm very speechless on this because if he had to do that for an actual good reason, then there has to be good reason as to why he sued. Nintendo or Pokemon them, it, themselves over the, the name of the Pokemon card. I just don't get people sometimes. If you're truly sorry for what you did 20 years ago, why didn't you apologize way earlier? Instead of, like, thinking about the lawsuit that you probably lost 20 years ago. I'm going to check that blog, that blog very, very soon, like, in a matter of seconds.
Okay, so now I'm at the article from where it was posted two days ago. It says, why there hasn't been a Kedabra Pokemon card for almost 20 years. There hasn't been a Kedabra Pokemon card for almost 20 years, and it's all thanks to illusionist Yuri Geller. Which we can now find out why. Kadabra hasn't appeared on Pokemon cards since the early 2000s, and it's all thanks to Spoon Bending, Illusionist, and we yell. Pokemon cards were just something kids brought frantically during the late 90s, as it is the case with pretty much everything Pokemon has put its name to. The TCG has continued to grow and evolve into something bigger than the franchise's creator could have ever imagined. It now has close to 1,000 Pokemon to choose from when creating a new creating new cards. Which is one of the reasons why some of you, some of your favorites, may not have reappeared in a while. That's not the case for Kid Debra, though. The first gen physique type hasn't had a Pokemon card of its very own since the early 2000s. Not, be not because it is waiting in line for its next opportunity, but because of the real life person on which the Pokemon is based. In Japan, the Kadabra's name is Gungurier. It gets that along with the spoon that can be found in its hand from illusionist Yuri Go. Not so much from Geller per se. It was more of a case of Pokemon's creators named Kadabra after the mystician left about letting him know. That didn't sit well with Geller, and at the turn of the century, he, he decided to take legal, legal action. Geller did not only sue Nintendo in 2003 facing Kadabra on him, but he requested that the Pokemon stop being used in his TCG. Here we are 20 years later, and it would appear that wound still stands. Since Kadabra is the male Pokemon in an evolution chain, including Abra and Alkasem, Gellin's lawsuit has moved from my act for three Pokemon rather than just one, even though both can still appear in the TGC. Their illusion is problematic since Kadabra can't join them. There have been a couple workarounds over the years though. Abar was included in the Mysterious Treasures set. Pokemon eliminated the problem of Kadabra's absence by giving Abra the ability to leapfrog and it evolved straight into Alakazam. As for Kadabra's evolved form, it has also appeared sporadically over the years. However, whenever it, it doesn't, it does make an appearance, it's as a basic Pokemon so that it doesn't need to have evolved from a Kadabra. Alkazam has appeared as an X and a V in this way. Needless to say, Kadabra cards are pretty hard to come by in 2020, not as hard defined as the world's rarest Pokemon card, though, which is actually pretty boring.
well, here are my thoughts now. I just think that now the card returned, I highly think that that Eerie Uri Geller made a pointless lawsuit with N Nintendo or Pokemon themselves over a Pokemon name. I mean, why would you sue Pokemon over a silly card? Over silly Pokemon card. Like, are you really a, a, a stupid, stupid idiot? Because you can't just sue somebody and claim the name of the Pokemon as your own, which Which Nintendo themselves, as this person stated, named Kadabra. And, and he thought that Kadabra was him. And I'm talking about Yuri Geller, which it wasn't. Kadabra wasn't the same, doesn't sound the same as Yuri, Yuri Geller, okay? Like, I don't know what that guy is thinking, but, like, you should've let go of the ruling 20 years earlier, at least. I mean, when that card was last sold in 2003, which would be exactly around 17 years ago. That was then you should have dropped the lawsuit. Sometimes I don't get people. If you if you don't know the pop culture of the internet, or in this case, the pop culture of the toys and games, then clearly you need to learn a lot more from us in the 21st century before you start making pointless lawsuits.